I was like 28, never worked before in front of a big crew, never saw anything like it, never knew where the fuck I was. I said, hey, what is that camera? What is he doing with that? Holy shit. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah that's, I've yeah. always, well, you know I mean? should just, full disclosure, I've been watching Mean Streets uh, at least once a year since sure. I was about 18 years old. Of course. <laughs> and I'm a huge fan of it. And of your performance in it, of course, um, one of the uh, one of the first moments of the whole movie that always stands out to me is you kick the guy out of the bar and you go, "Get out of my place! I know your face." Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And just not the fact that that rhymes. I always wondered. Oh no! You I always wondered if that was. You're right. I fucked up. No, I, mean, no. <laughs> I don't think that's a fuck up at all. Well, I feel the, like that's a I great did it, moment. I kept doing it over and over, and and I, and we all heard it rhyme. And I remember hearing it rhyme, and I went, "Wait a second, this rhymes." <laughs> and I wanted to break it up, and we never, I never did. Oh, it totally I swear works. to you, really? it's very astute that you listen to. Oh, what a way delivery. to open a fucking a film career yeah. in a Marty Scorsese movie, tearing a guy out of a bathroom. Throwing one guy to, out, yeah. picking another guy up, slamming him down, and I'm just this little guy with a lot of hair. Yeah, <laughs> I had a lot of hair, boy. Yeah, I had a lot of hair, um, man. I had a lot of hair, <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> another moment that stands out to me is when you guys are you guys are going to the movies. You're in the car and you're going to the movies. You have a line. Uh, the guy comes up and starts cleaning. The, the windshield right. of the car, and you boy, do you know this movie? You, I know uh, it because there's a story about this. Go ahead. Yeah, it's just, it's, he's cleaning the windshield, and you go, uh, "Hey, Michael, will you tell your father to get away <laughs> from those?" Right? Do you know it's this hilarious. movie? Yeah. You know what happened with that? Bomb went to Marty and said, "I don't think it's right for him to say that." Uh. Bob and Marty said, well, what's the matter? He says, well, it's like a put down to my father. You know, I, I don't think he would do that. He would say that. And I was fine. I mean, I would have dropped a line like this. It didn't mean anything to me. I swear. And I, I wasn't like, it was an improvised line. You know, we were improvising. Right, right. So I would say, drop it like this. I wouldn't say, but Marty said, no, no, no. Nobody saw your father. Nobody knows your father in the movie. And Marty liked the line. Yeah. And he opposed him with it. Wow. Look what you picked out. Yeah. One it's... line. And it was that line. A little tension in that moment. I remember it. Yeah. I remember stuff is coming back, man. See, my mind is all right. <laughs> I keep thinking my mind is going. Uh, things are going. I'm melting down or something. No, I remember stuff. That was that. Oh, was yeah. that. Yeah. He said, I don't, he shouldn't be saying that. He said, what was the animal you got into the cage with? I mean, she was like a puma or something, right? Like a yeah, it was, that was your, that was real. Yeah. It was a, for real. And the so, thing, I didn't know what. I didn't know. They were bringing in, a, they brought in a leopard. <laughs> and I'm saying, wait a second, man. Why, what do you, what? well, you know, Joe Gallo had this in the bar. Joe Gallo, it's all about the, the Joe Gallo thing, yeah. you know. Joe Gallo, the the, the gangster, the gangster mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, who had the uh, panther or something in his oh, right. okay. bar in the back. <laughs> it was his pet. Uh, his yeah. pet. Well, good. I'm glad you know that. So you shoot it from here, and I stand next to the camera over here. Like, <laughs> he said, no, 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 no. You gotta go into the cage. <laughs> and he told me that day, because I was sloppy in the script. I don't remember the scene. I swear, I don't remember reading me going into a cage. I didn't remember that. I swear, I had no, I said, no, no, wait, wait, I time out, time out. <laughs> I gave him a time out. I, what do you mean? Now, the wrangler, the guy bringing the animals said, no good, this animal is no good today. Wow, it that's was, not what you want to hear. It was a panther <laughs> that was menstruating. Oh, shit. <laughs> wow. I think you schedule it for a different sisters, day. four sisters, man. I grew up with five, six women in my house. And you still got I know cage. what it is, man. You stay away, man. 
the thing got its period? I ain't going in a cage with the, a panther that's got its period. <laughs> not going in there, yeah. No, no, we're not doing that. But you went in. No. They brought in a, uh, a different, like a lion. Uh, it wasn't uh, a yeah, panther. Like a lynx or something. It, it was, was, yeah, a, so I thought it was like a poodle. Well, it was a, yeah. it was a big baby lion, wow. they told me. Now, <laughs> at this point, I had taken a couple and the boy, you know, relax. You know, because I said, yeah. all right, because I said, you going to go in? And he did. He said, I'll go in before you. Uh-huh. And he did it. Hmm. He fucking did it. He said, I said, if you do it, I'll do it. He said, all right. And he did it. He went in, yeah. and the thing, <laughs> and it was all right. The thing, the thing just said, yeah. <laughs> well, you went in and too. it turned out to be my love scene. Yeah, because after Marty saw it, he said, "David, we got your love scene in the movie." I said, "What? You and the lion? You got to see it. You know the scene? Yeah, you're letting it. The know, thing is hugging me, and yeah. the music comes. Yeah, it's very intimate uh, moment. Very intimate yeah. moment. Me and the cat. I'm your jerk until the next one comes along. <laughs>